Robert Mueller. Robert Mueller. Bob Mueller. 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 The Mueller Report. The Mueller Report in our hands. More than 400 pages, including a lot of new information. Right now, the two main headlines. One, special counsel Robert Mueller could not establish conspiracy between any members of the Trump team and Russia. That is significant, and that is headline number one. Headline number two, Mueller was also unable to clear President Trump on the matter of obstruction of justice. He says he cannot conclude, quote, that no criminal conduct occurred. What this tells you is that the Robert Mueller investigation into Russian interference and possible coordination is done, um, possible coordination with the Russians and the Trump campaign is done. However, there is clearly fallout here with us learning today that Mueller referred 14 other investigations to other offices that they are working on right now. Robert Mueller and his team lay out potential motives of why the president uh, would want to alter the course of the investigation and potentially obstruct justice. Justice. Among other things, he expressed concern, according to the report, that these reports might lead the public to question the legitimacy of his election. And then shortly after he found out from his attorney general at the time, Jeff Sessions, about the appointment of Robert Mueller, this is a quote, um, this was his response when he found out about it. He said, oh my God, this is terrible. This is the end of my presidency. I'm effed. The evidence does indicate that a thorough FBI investigation would uncover facts about the campaign and the president personally that the president could have understood to be crimes or that would give rise to personal and political concerns. The picture that emerges here is really one of the president's aides and advisors and officials trying to protect him from his worst instincts. We see time and again here laid out chapter and verse, different officials telling the special counsel's office different times they felt pressure to take actions that they weren't comfortable with, them telling the president no, and him continually to, to berate them. The individuals that he tried to effectuate his direction to shut down or derail or obstruct these investigations knew it was wrong. Don McGahn would have known that this potentially was obstruction. We have been told by the Trump White House that it is fake news that he wanted and in fact ordered the, spe the, the White House counsel, right. uh, Don McGahn at the time, yeah. to fire Robert Mueller. Not. We, it has been reported, I believe the New York Times broke that story, uh, and, and the White House said it's fake news, it's not true. Page 216, yeah. on June 17th, 2017, President Trump called McGahn, the White House counsel at home, and directed him to call the acting attorney general and say that the special counsel had conflicts of interest, that's Robert Mueller, and must be removed. Right. McGahn did not carry out the direction, however, deciding that he would resign rather than trigger what he regarded as a potential Saturday night massacre. Well, in the Mueller report, they point out that during his dinner with Comey on January 27th, the president told Comey, and I'm quoting, the people of the FBI really like him. That's what he said. The Mueller report says no evidence suggests that the president heard otherwise before deciding to fire Comey. And then it says Sarah Sanders acknowledged to investigators that her comments that countless people lost confidence in James Comey at the FBI were not founded on anything. So oh, so just, she just made it up. It shows this you, is in the Mueller report. The this Sarah is Sanders in the Mueller made report, page 288. It's telling you exactly what the White House has been doing, that things that they were saying were not always truthful. Mueller goes into detail, quite some detail, about the fact that President Trump led the charge to lie about this Trump Tower meeting. But ultimately, Mueller concludes, and I think we, we all said this at the time, it's not a crime to lie to the public. Right. It's exactly. not a crime to lie to reporters. Right. Uh, Which is lucky for this White House, I mean, frankly, because they do it all the time. <laughs> if it were a crime to lie to the American people, this would be quite a damning document. Yeah. Barr portrayed the decision both in his news conference several weeks ago and just this morning as like, well, it was just too difficult for, uh, it, it was just like the question was too close for Bob Mueller to determine. No, that's not what happened. Right. What happened here is that Mueller said, look, I can't prosecute him anyway, and I am not going to prejudice him by concluding that he committed a crime, so I am going to leave it to others to decide. The conclusion that Congress may apply the obstruction law to the president's corrupt exercise of the powers of office accords with our constitutional system of checks and balances and the principle that no person is above the law. That is, I don't think any other way to read that, is saying, I, Robert Mueller, cannot enforce the obstruction of law justice laws against the president because I am not empowered to do so under Department of Justice policy. 
But this is an invitation to Congress to say you can do it using the impeachment power. You know, there have been some discussion ahead of time going into today about why didn't Robert Mueller sit down with the president for an in-person interview? We know that they did that take-home test, but that was only on the issue of conspiracy or collusion. It wasn't on obstruction. And in the report, Mueller actually addresses the issue of the subpoena. And so I just want to provide a little bit of color on his explanation for why they didn't go forward with it. And in the report, they say here, ultimately, while we believe that we had the authority and legal justification to issue a grand jury subpoena to obtain the president's testimony, we chose not to do so. We made that decision in view of the substantial delay that such an investigative step would likely produce at a late stage in our investigation. He goes on to say, we also assess that based on the significant body of evidence that we already had obtained of the president's actions and his public and private statements describing or explaining those actions, we had sufficient evidence to understand relevant events and to make certain assessments without the president's testimony. It already is real for House Democrats. Conundrum being, do they have even more tr pressure than they had before? Intense pressure because of how bad, as you described it, Jeffrey is, in here, uh, the, the actions that the president took while in office that could lead to that 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 bar of uh, of impeachment, or do they say, do the Democrats say to their base and to the American people, you know what, we have an election coming up. It's not going to be us who decides. It's going to be the American people at the voting booth. You know, the Democrats have to have tough conversations because Speaker Pelosi has, herself has said. It's not worth going forward with impeachment unless you have a bipartisan mm. agreement to move forward with impeachment. <coughs> you know, it's, it's up for the political community to decide is there a threshold for impeachment. But so the, those Republicans are saying it's okay that the president's son, a key player in his campaign, was direct messaging WikiLeaks about dumping information. It's okay that the president's campaign chairman was continuing, not just once, on several occasions shared internal campaign polling right after the Republican convention, going into a general election with the Russians. It's okay that the president told his White House counsel to fire the special counsel. It's okay that they repeatedly lie about things in public, and a lot of them lied to federal investigators. So that, is that what the Republican Party wants? Is, is that what the Republican Party, Republican Party wants its legacy to be out of this document? Mm -hmm.